This is Andrew Hogue here on Soundwave Radio 2014, and I do have the pleasure of being uh, graced by the presence of uh, Pete and John from uh, Baroness. And boy, do they have a story to tell. Most uh, are aware about their uh, horrific bus crash a, a couple of years ago, and it's enough to put most bands uh, off from uh, continuing to live the dream. But um, it certainly is a nightmare in itself. But we do have the lads in Australia. And again, welcome back to Soundwave Thanks, for your uh, second appearance. And again, it's great to have the band uh, back in Oz and yeah, man. surviving a, a pretty pretty intense uh, circumstance. So I know a lot of people have asked you about this over the last couple of years. But were there any moments we just thought this just ain't worth it? Even after, you know, the rehabilitation and all that sort of stuff? Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> there you go. It's really as simple as that. We like it what we really, do. It really, like, the, the, that's the, sh- the, shortest, the shortest answer, man, is no. Really, no. I was more afraid that the band wasn't actually going to exist there for a minute, you know? Yeah. That, that, was, was, that, was, that was the fear. That yeah. was the fear. the fear. The fear was that everything we worked for yeah. would, would have folded up and, you know, gone to shit. And it didn't. Now, it certainly took you guys a while to sort of, I guess, get back on the horse going through you know, rehabilitation. Obviously, John, you're wearing a, uh, a special sort of comfort sling of some kind there as well. Helps keeps all the, the bits in place. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's been a long road to sort of get back to uh, a, a playing ability. Um, again, like I said, it was certainly not a doubt in your mind to uh, not continue playing, but... Uh, what, what's your take on a band, especially getting out there, traveling on the road? It's, it's, it's a dangerous territory out there, considering that there are many bands that have had bus accidents over the years and some losing members as well. Well, you know, it's, uh, yeah, without risk, there's no reward. And uh, we've chosen a lifestyle that puts us out on the road, uh, on airplanes, on buses and cars and traveling around and in different cities and unfamiliar places all over all over the world all the time there's risks involved with anybody who travels as much as we do and we were just unfortunate we you know kind of pee pee not kind of think of it as like you know you get struck by lightning like it does, everybody's everybody thinks about it at some point but very very few people does it actually happen to it just happened to us we got through it and we're anxious to get back to you know, reality now. Has it changed the way you write music together? I mean, obviously people would use a lot of their life experiences in music as well. Mm. Um, you know, fill us in on once you sort of guys got back out of the, the sort of rehabilitation okay. side of things and started jamming again. Really, the I think the best way for us to to rehabilitate was to get back on the road, you know, to, 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 to immerse yourself back in it. Instead of sitting there wondering, like, and guessing, Hey, what's what's it gonna be like? Are we gonna be okay? Really, we were so anxious to get back out on the road that John worked overtime. John was working overtime to get healthy enough to play, and we we uh, we just set our minds on it, and we created a goal. We made a goal. We met our goal, and hit the road, and just dove right back in it, like running. So it was, it was cool, man. Um, I mean, really, that's the best rehabilitation is you just you just reimmerse yourself in it and get back into it. And then it's like riding a bike, man. And Yeah, I mean, if, so, if something's... And work it out along the way, you know? If there's something that's give you... You know, if there's something that causes you fear or anxiety or stress or pain or anything like that, the best way to deal with confront it is to it. confront it and embrace it, you know? Like, we can't... It would be senseless and purposeless for us to shiver with fear at the thought of, you know, leaving our comfort zones. I mean... That's what that's part. That's part of being a musician, anyway. You're you're putting yourself in a un, you know uncomfortable yeah. positions. The only the only thing has changed since the you know so since I don't, the accident. Do not is not sleep on a bus now. Yeah. Oh really? Well, it's tougher to sleep. I don't on a bus sleep. Sure. I I haven't. I just don't sleep. That, sleeping on a bus is difficult. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us me. about the first tour back on a bus. I mean. It, I mean, well, the bus was a heck of a lot nicer. So, <laughs> in yeah. that sense, I felt a lot more comfortable. Uh, but yeah, yeah. But first, actually, the first tour back on the bus was awesome. Let me just say it was one of the best tours I've ever been on in my life. I yeah, agree. absolutely. I think, and, if if not the best. Like I mean, people was, say that you know, you sort of stare death in the face, so to speak. It just gives you a different perspective on on the way yeah. you yeah, visual yeah, life. You gotta, you I mean, gotta enjoy. You, you yeah, learn. Yeah. You learn the, in in a really sharp, immediate way that you gotta enjoy what's in front of you. You've got you've got no time to lose. You know, if anything, we'd be you know. For, for us, it's just made us more more hungry and more 
uh, you know, starved to get things done because it's it's, yeah. it's obvious, and you know, this isn't even the first time it's happened to us. But it's obvious that that you know our lives are our lives are short. It can be you know that rug can get pulled from out from underneath you. At any That's point all my life is. Yeah. My life is nothing but a constant reminder that you were this close to dying. That's all my life is, and I, I'm telling you, like. I'm grateful for everything I've got. Yeah. At all times. Time to waste. At all times. Period. I just am. There's no that's just, you know, I could you know, what you can do, you know, I don't know, I'm not going to get to it, but whatever. You you can either you can either sit and dwell in in the darkest darkest depths, but fucking life is hard. And it's just a matter of time before everybody has that freight train that fucking hits them. You know, and we we had as a band and on different personal levels, together, had a freight train hit us, you know? And then with that freight train of life came, man, and, yeah. it, and it hit us. And then you, you, you can either sit and dwell in it, man. Or just or get you, back on the horse. Or you can shake, you get shake it off, man. We, yeah. got, we got work to do, man. We're too, we got work to do. You know, we got shit to do, man. No matter what, no matter what you do, no matter how much you protect yourself or, or insulate yourself against things, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna suffer loss of one sort or another. Yeah, this life, yeah. right? Yeah, so yeah. Let's, get, let's get to it. You know, no time to waste. Yeah, you only got one, one, one chance to get it. You know? Yeah. Well, let's talk a bit about uh, the sort of music side of Baroness now. What what's sort of been happening now? What's come out of it? Well, now we're an emo band, and I, I know <laughs> I was with, with a little hip hop flavor. With a little hip hop flavor, and uh, you know, um, John's working on his mixing <laughs> DJ skills. You know, and we're pretty much trying to get everything onto a laptop. <laughs> You know, because traveling with all these amps and guitars, I mean, it's geez, too rock and roll too, for us. It was too much. <laughs> the weight, the shipping costs. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, so no. we're, uh, we're writing. We're, yeah, we're, we're actually in the process right now of writing, writing, and uh, I don't think the process is any different, is it? Nope. It's just, I, I mean, just, I think we want to just move faster. We want to get a lot, we want to get as much done as we can. Period. Yeah. But it's not like, oh, it's a rush. It's just how you're feeling. Yeah. Well, you write Internally. when you, you you can only write yeah. when you're feeling like writing. So yeah. it, you know we we want to write. We want to get a new record out. We want to keep touring. We want to keep Absolutely. doing this as long as we possibly can. We also, uh, you know, our, our time was cut a little short there with Yellow and Green. We we went out last year and we basically gave as much support, you know, as we could at with what time we left we had on that record, you know, and uh, and it's important that we just keep the ball rolling right now, you know, without any hesitation. So. Can you let us in on just how it's sort of sounding wise? I know you're obviously quite lot, inspired. It's very from, electronic. From the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of like glitches and it's, in beats. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> we we we're actually trans uh, we're just transcribing it on to like eight bit. Yeah, it's all MIDI. It's all MIDI. Yeah. No, no it's, 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 it sounds like it sounds like Baroness. Yeah, it sounds like Baroness. It's we still have a lot a lot of stuff right here, but yeah, yeah it's uh, <laughs> it's gonna sound like Baroness. I, I, we can assure you of that. Yeah. Now being back on Soundwave for the second time, and this bill is uh, quite uh, massive, as pretty much most Soundwaves are. I mean, yeah. when you saw the lineup and you were added, were there any ones that you just couldn't wait to see or bands you'd well, never heard of? I couldn't wait of? to see Black Sabbath, but they dropped. They, yeah, I couldn't wait to see Alice in Chains, but they go on at the exact same time we do. Uh, <laughs> That's noise. But uh, our uh, our friends Mastodon are here. Saw them last night. Yeah. Awesome! It's Incredible. been it's it's great to uh, it's great to be here with Mastodon. It really, really is. Um, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, we're doing our sound uh, our side wave shows with them as well, uh, and just really, really excited. And, and Gojira, that so yeah, it's that's that's the excitement for me right now. Is just you know we're we're surrounded by some friendly faces and and you know recognize a lot of these guys. So it's fun. It's it's good, man. Well, we can get you guys to sort of choose one of your favorite Baroness tracks, fight amongst yourselves, so we can get it on the air for uh, Soundwave Radio here on andrewhogue.com. So, you know, something that uh, you can choose between you. <laughs> yeah, what's our favorite track, Tom? I don't know. Do we have a favorite track? I don't know. I never really thought about that. I like them all. I haven't listened to our records in years. Um, well, ones that you play that sort of, you know, remind you of things. Or Can we play something song. off the EPs? Yeah. Yeah. No worries. You find All right. That, so that check out. this out. I can dig it out. MP3. Dig deep into the vault. This is the deep cut. The this deep is cut. the super deep cut off our first EP, Tower Falls. Yeah. 